Hi, I'm Lindsay. Um, I'm a nursing student at NWTC, I'm involved in oral interpersonal communication. And I was part of the Blue Group where we made a communication in the workplace PowerPoint um, and we compared it to ingredients of a cheeseburger. Um, so I'll take you through that um, and here I'll start. Um, introduction. Communication is the sharing of information which is essential in a work environment for productivity and harmony. It consists of many t items including verbal, nonverbal, body language, tone of voice, and understanding personality traits. The main objective of this group project is to approach personality traits and effective ways of communicating with those types of people. We have opted to compare a group project to a cheeseburger. Not everyone can agree on what goes on. Most have personal preferences. We have compared the traits to items on a cheeseburger to show it can fit together. As in a group project at work, all must do their share and work together for success. Businesses continue to utilize personality profiles of their employees. With that being said, remember you can't always have it your way. The cheeseburger. Almost everyone loves a cheeseburger, but can everyone agree what to put on it? Each individual has their own preference. Are we able as a group to decide what's on our cheeseburger? Group decisions and projects. Many times trying to decide what to have on a cheeseburger is as difficult as a group project can be. If you know the people you are working with and how to communicate with them, the project will go smoother. Let's compare cheeseburger ingredients to people you may have to at work. Um, the first ingredient is the bun, or the, aka the mother hen. Um, personality traits are referred to as the hostess with the mostest, or the family man. Warm, friendly, nurturing, traditional, loyal, and practical. Natural work with others. Um, outgoing and sociable. Great listeners and group advisors. Inclusive and multitaskers. Communication hints for the mother hen, um, dislikes criticism and going outside their box, want to all get along, feelings can be hurt easily, will avoid conflict and criticism at all costs, and eye language can help avoid them um, the feeling of being attacked or becoming defensive. The burger or the realist. Um, personality traits tells it like it is, logical, honest, and keeps it real. Beliefs may cause group tension or confrontation, sometimes called a know-it-all. Likes challenges, usually physical and activities, and is a good communicator. Uh, communication hints for the realist is must have good intentions in mind. Avoid getting personal in discussions. Compromise may be an asset or challenge. And use statements may be used if they build on his traits. The next ingredient is cheese, or the innovator. Personality traits for the innovator are creative, idealistic, resourceful, quirky, and imaginative. Ask a lot of questions and think outside the box. Independent, curious, and high achieving. Mm -hmm. Likes to work with intellectual equals. Communication hints for the innovator are gets bored with details and routine. Likes to start projects but gets bored toward the end. Eye language may be lessen their intensity. Um, remain calm and do not take them too personally. Realize their motives for the company. The lettuce or the dude. Uh, personality traits, calm, unfazed, laid back and relaxed. Remain calm when things go bad and help calm as the whole group. Do not transfer stress to colleagues, which is appreciated by others. May be seen as lazy or unaware of a situation. Uh, communication hints for the dude are do not assume they do not know the gravity of the project and ask questions. Laid back does not mean lazy. Ask for updates on his assigned tasks to keep things on track. The next ingredient is the tomato or the geek. Uh, personality traits has exceptional attention to detail and good follow through. Usually quiet but may tend to take control. Very smart and a perfectionist. 
will get the job completed, sometimes overworking. Um, hints for the geek are make sure work is divided evenly. Finishing is not the only important thing. Um, they should learn what they are working on in this project and compromise is a good method to use. The Onion or The Critic um, finds joy in criticizing others, find it hard to appreciate anyone, may find faults in others but not themselves, and may have a depressing morale on the rest of the group. Um, the communication hints do not take them personally, understand them and ask questions to clarify, realize honest feedback, address your own discomfort with them, and responds to criticism with good points of reference. Uh, the next ingredient is bacon or the joker. Uh, personality traits, hard to take serious in serious situations, may be perceived as lazy or a slacker, likes to have fun sometimes to group detriment, can relieve stress or alienate others which causes um, even more stress in the workplace. Um, communication hints, do not tell off-color jo jokes, avoid teasing and humor that labels others, um, and make fun of yourself. A joke at your expense may relieve some tension in the workplace if it's there. Um, lighten the atmosphere and connect with others. Uh, the next condiment is ketchup or the link. Uh, personality traits, social, flighty, and connected knows someone wherever they go, cultivates relationships, always knows someone who know someone who can help with the dilemma, believes that who you know, not what you know that counts. Um, communication hints for the link are beware of being considered shallow by your group, take time to develop deep relationships with them and others in your group. Salt and pepper or the cheerleader. Um, enthusiastic, optimistic, and motivating. Very social and team players. Creative, loves new ideas. Fun, willing to praise and loves to party. Likes to keep things simple. Less organized, not good with details and logical thinking. Um, communication hints for the cheerleader or do not move too quickly without taking time to reflect. Um, when in conflict, focus on the situation, not the person, and perception checking can be used to verify your interpretations. The next condiment is pickle or the slacker. Never take initiative, distracts um, others, slow to finish, will most likely miss deadlines, um, seems involved for appearance sake, and spend time figuring how to avoid work feeds off others, and does the bare minimum. Um, communication hints, assertive message format may be a good tactic. Meet one-on-one, -on -one, mention their good qualities, explain how their work or lack of work is affecting the group, and discuss issues, goal is to increase proactivity. Decisions. Um, group projects, like cheeseburgers, both have problems in the choices of how to carry out the project. Some group members may not want anything to do with it. Some group members refuse or dislike working with other members or in general just don't like working in groups um, for group projects. So the choices we make are trying to get everyone to agree on what to add to a cheeseburger is like in a group project. Um, one person may not like onions and the other person may. That's just one of those things that you have to um, overcome in groups. Um, one person may think bacon is bad for you and the other person is just like, oh, whatever, I'm eating my bacon on my burger. Um, and what do we do with all these differences? Well, we compromise, we in-depth discussion, vote with majority rule, disband the group or project, um, do a poor job or just get it done. Who cares? This will not change anything. Where do you go first? Compromise. The technique of compromise is a very useful tool in any group project. It can be a win-win situation. Um, when we can all agree, the project can move on smoothly, um, can leave no one left out, and it does require input from all of the members of the group. Um, what else can be done? Attitudes. <clears throat> 
wanting to disband the group or project will not satisfy the needs of higher ups. Doing a poor rush job to get it done will also result in lack of confidence from superiors. Who care attitude is a very slippery slope to be on in any group setting by any member. And the summary slide. Um, in conclusion, communication is very important in the workplace. Everyone communicates differently due to their personality and experiences. No matter where you work, you will find many different personalities which related different ingredients of the cheeseburger. All these different personalities are important for teamwork. Although some personalities may be more preferable than others, each personality can bring different viewpoints, work ethic, and understanding of situations. Different personalities can cause conflict and slow down work too. This is why many companies are using personality testing to find employees with their preferred personalities. In order to work better with other personalities, you need to keep an open mind in your attitude of someone's personality and have efficient conflict management skills. This is all key to having a good communication in the workplace. And this is my our cited work slide. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm hoping it helps out if you were to ever be in a bind with workplace communication. Thanks for listening.